Hi everybody, my name is Rachel and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be testing, reviewing, and demonstrating the Oster Diamond Force Nonstick Electric Griddle Slash Grill. Though it is not marketed as a portable griddle, if you search up on Amazon, you will find this one and other ones like this under portable griddles. And I can totally see why due to its size and how lightweight it is. Many that I have seen, used, and have had before and I've actually just recently gotten rid of, they are a lot bigger and heavier and have a lot of big clunky lids. Mine did. I'll try and put up a picture here for you. I just am so glad to finally have one that is a lot smaller and doesn't take up a whole lot of room in my kitchen. I don't like things in my kitchen that are really big and going to take up a lot of space. So this is really great for space saving for those of you who live in apartment, tiny living, RV living, or just want to take to go camping, but more so glamping because you do need a power source. I have been using this griddle now for a few months. My mother-in-law gifted it to me. I'm so glad that she did. She liked it so much that she thought she would get it for me and I'm really glad because now I'm able to share with you guys how much I enjoy it. Now that you have heard many great things about it, let me show you how well it works. Let's first start off by seasoning our meats. To season our chicken, we are going to use our amino acids, some maple syrup, some liquid smoke, some oil of your choice. This is grapeseed oil. I also like to use toasted sesame oil. Also some turmeric, which you do not see there on the list. They're on the refrigerator. Some garlic powder and onion powder. Some cumin. Black pepper. I'm sorry, that was parsley. Black pepper. Smoked paprika. some ginger, and also some Italian seasonings. Right here we also have four to five cloves of garlic. You can use as much as you want. We like to use garlic. And also half of a yellow onion. Of course you can modify the recipe how you like to your liking. Once you have all the seasonings in the bag, then you can go ahead and add the chicken. And once the chicken is in the bag, go ahead and seal it up and mix it around. I also forgot to put in some orange juice. I used half of an orange and also half of a lemon. Next, we're going to make some hamburgers. Just going to place the hamburgers here in the bowl. And with my gloves, it's a little bit difficult to do, but I'm gonna go ahead and put some salt, some turmeric, some garlic powder, onion powder, some cumin, some ginger, some parsley, a little bit of Italian seasonings, some smoked paprika, and also some ginger, I think I had already said. Also, we're gonna put in some ranch and some barbecue sauce. And then also an egg. And then we'll just go ahead and mix it on up. A lot of times I don't use the Italian seasonings or the parsley, but I was feeling really creative today, so I went ahead and added them. To make the hamburgers, I like to just get little balls and put them here in some tin foil. It, it helps to just smash them and flatten them out, and I just really like this. It's just a really easy trick. Now time for the grilling. We enjoy hamburgers from time to time. It's not something that we eat too often, but I really like the way that I put the ingredients in. It's just perfect to our liking. And here with the grill, it just makes it so easy to make them in no time. We have hamburgers ready to go and they are done. The cleanup is also very easy. As you see, I just pour some water on and just wipe it right off. Next for the carrots, I just add a little bit of butter and just throw the carrots right on to saute them and they taste absolutely delicious. Next 
for the fish. We have our salmon here, just gonna go ahead and pat it on dry and add some seasonings. As you see, I'm just using some Old Bay, a little bit of some salt, so him, the pink Himalayan salt, and then just going to add some black pepper. Next for the shrimp, we're just gonna add a little bit of Old Bay, and that's pretty much it. And then for our carrots here, you see I just added some extra butter, and then go ahead and add some cinnamon. Next, we're going to grill the shrimp. And these little guys make up in no time. Once again, a very easy cleanup. And now it is time to make our salmon. And look how delicious that looks. Last but not least, the chicken. I don't know about you guys, but watching this plate back is making me pretty hungry. And Emma is just here saying that mama's food is number one. And she's making sure that daddy knows that and agrees as well. another easy cleanup and here is the delicious food all your favorite meals made in no time since this model Oster has made a newer model that is made out of Dura ceramic which is four times stronger than all other non-stick surfaces so I would highly recommend upgrading I had saw that it's only like a $10 difference so I feel it's definitely worth it I will leave everything linked down below in the description now that you have seen how well it works, let's talk about the pros and cons. Starting with the cons, I do wanna say that it does splash a little bit. So to avoid that splashing, as you saw, I put tin foil underneath and this way it was able to catch all of the mess and after you can just wad it up and throw it away. I do recommend though putting a little bit of a longer piece so this way if there's any little bits that sprinkle out a little bit further, it'll catch those as well. And if I need something covered, I just use one of my big lids to my cooking pans and I just cover it and it just kind of just steams up and smokes in there. So that's an option if you are wanting a lid. I'm kind of glad that it doesn't have a lid because it's just one extra thing to put in my kitchen to store so I'm okay with that. Now for the pros and I have many. I really like the fact that it is light. The one that I had before was really heavy and I just really hated that. I also like that it is small. It's nice and narrow so it fits really nice in my cupboard and doesn't take up a whole lot of space. That's really important to me. I like how fast it heats up and how well it grills everything. It makes everything super simple. And not only that, the cleanup. The cleanup is huge because I mean, who wants to clean up a big old huge mess? It is so easy to just wipe off, clean off, and it's good to go for the next time. So I highly recommend this grill slash griddle for you, your family, as a gift. It's just something that I think everybody will really enjoy. If you found this video helpful, which I hope you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below, leave a comment and share with a friend. Thank you so much and God bless. Bye.